Hello and welcome to the Construction Sport Podcast. I'm here today at the Flannery's Drivers Hotel, as they call it, at Warwickshire Park Hotel. Um, I'm with the main man behind the building itself and everything that goes on, Mr. Patrick O'Leary. How are you, Patrick? Good. Good. Do we call you Patrick or Pat? Actually? Pat's good. Pat, yeah. good. Oh well? Yeah, really good. Thanks, Steve. Yeah. Hotel's good. Hotel's going really well, yeah. Sunshine's coming out. And it is indeed, yeah. How's the hotel going? Going well? Good, going really good, yeah. We're, we've had the hotel two years last week and there's been great progress. Yeah, it's been a good two years. Two year anniversary. Yeah. You haven't celebrated it yet, have you? No, we haven't. And we're got, here today. We're here celebrating today with you. Yeah. <laughs> Superb. How's the hotel going? So how many people does it hold here? So we have uh, 79 bedrooms yeah. and um, yeah, a mixture of um, anything between twin rooms to king and, and a few family rooms as well, yeah. Is it just Flannery staff here? Or? No, it's not just Flannery's. We are open to the public, so on all the booking platforms we're available too. Yeah. Um, primarily, we focus on supporting the Flannery business and the demand for accommodation in the area for HS2. Cool. So the idea is Flannery drivers work on site and you guys let them know just that, you know, that this is our hotel if you need it. Yeah, it's so uh, um, as you know, operators are travelling from various different parts of the country to, to come and work in the Midlands here with HS2. Yeah. And they, um, you know, they're, they're hitting long days, so to d- reduce driver fatigue um, and journey time home back and forth, yeah. there is a facility here for them in the, in the local area. Superb. Do you have guys, obviously we're in Kenilworth, and it comes under Kenilworth. Yeah, Kenilworth, Warwickshire, yeah. So that, is that BBV and DKFB? No, right so this area would just oh. be BBV. Just BBV? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, so we obviously walked, we stayed here, fortunately, thanks to you guys, didn't you we? Did, so we yeah. got the, the big trek. Time. Yeah, it is, yeah, back here again. Mm. And we're going to be eating soon as well, we're looking forward to because we liked the, the food last time. But yeah, so we stayed here, you guys fortunately put us up, very thankful for that. Yep. And we put it, we walked, we, we come here, then we went into Birmingham, walked past here, and then we south. finished down the road, and we come back again, and that's the first night, didn't we? And then come back. That's it. And come to and fro. But yeah, no, we, we loved it. It's perfect for the drivers, yeah, yeah. though, isn't it? Because we obviously spent an evening here as well. You guys looked after us, but yep. we spoke with a few of the drivers and stuff who were about. But it's quite a, like you said before, it's, you've said to me, kind of, it's, you don't have to expect too much. It's a decent hotel, it's a decent bit of food, mm-hmm. a decent place to get your head down, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a comfortable hotel. We've got a gym here for the lads, um, you know, focusing on uh, the, the mental health and the, um, yeah. and just, just activity for the for the guys to be occupied in the evening, so you don't you know you don't have to be in a restaurant and bar. Yeah. Um, we're in a rural area, which you know if you want to get out and about into the countryside and, and do some exercise in the in the finer weather, that's available too. Do you get use of that gym then, if you stay here, the drivers? Yeah, or absolutely. Is it kind yeah, of, is yeah. It a membership thing, or is it kind of separate? No, 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 no. no. So it's, it's exclusive for um, people who are staying in the hotel only. So we're not open Brilliant. to um, the, whilst the hotel is open to the public, the gym wouldn't be open. Like as a membership, no, it's just exclusive for people staying in the hotel. That's a big win then, isn't it? Yeah. I've always yeah. seen that. I've worked, obviously, in the industry for a while on the tools or whatever and been on sites and stayed away. And I used to always, I think, I actually think the direct debit's still running on my thing. I need to delete it, actually. And I signed up to, you just have to find a gym near your hotel all the yeah. time. It's a nightmare. You yeah. can never find the same place. Um, but you're saying here, your drivers can stay and you've actually got use of the facilities. That's right. And that's a win-win, isn't it? Yeah, really? yeah. That is cool. I'd love I might stay myself. <laughs> <laughs> so BBV then, this project, obviously HS2 is, mm-hmm. who knows, obviously how this, the, the job runs and where, what year it'll end, but yeah. you guys look at being here the whole way through to support HS2, isn't it? That's the plan, yeah. So um, like you mentioned earlier, we're two years in and, um, and the hotel facilities will be here for the duration of, yeah. of, the, of the job, which, as you, again, as you said, is, is, um, is forever changing. So yeah. The purpose of the hotel is there to just to support the operators. And um, was it a hotel before? It always has been. Yeah, it was a hotel. So it was uh, it was closed during COVID, and then we picked up the hotel just during the back end of coming out of the kind of lockdown periods. Yeah. And then um, and it just gone through a few changes. The condition of the hotel had to be improved, yeah. and that's what we've done steadily over the last two years. Do you have BBV coming to you to support their staff as well, like additional staff <coughs> outside of Flannery as such? Not typically, no. Yeah. We're predominantly with Flannery's. Um, like I, I said, we are available on the booking platforms. Yeah. So, you know, any companies can book here if they want to. And, and of course, we do pick up some traffic coming through from HS2 um, contractors that work in the local area. Yeah. Mm. Oh, superb mm. stuff. Well, you do a band night as well, don't you? There's live music here. There's live music. At the moment, it's every Tuesday. And now, as we transition into the finer weather, we've got a beer garden outside, and that will be weekends as well, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. So is it a seven-day week? You've got staff here? 
four HS2? I don't actually know yeah, what kind of hours yeah, they Yeah, so work, some, they? some yeah. of the guys, um, because some of the, the lads would be working away from home and they're, you know, they're travelling maybe from Ireland, Scotland, or, or you know, even Romania and, and Central Europe. Um, do you see that, do you? Yeah, yeah absolutely, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. there's, cool, there's a whole range. Yeah. yeah, so they, they come here for two or three weeks. Yeah, so back. like, so typically, let's say, you know, if you're working two hours away, you might only stay Monday to Friday, or if, you know, if you're working weekends, you might be here on the weekend. But then some lads would, could be here for months at a time, and then they'd schedule their visit back home for, you know, whether it be for a long weekends or Easter or Christmas. Yeah. But yeah, so. That's, yeah, I've, I've seen it quite a lot. I suppose a lot of the Romanian lads I've worked with in the past, some good friends of mine, Romanian boys. And that's where COVID done them in a little bit because I literally couldn't get home for yeah. that six monthly visit. Or that's right. Yeah. That went for a year or two years, three years. Yeah, really. The Irish boys can go back each weekend, don't they? You pretty, you pretty find it. Yeah. So we, yeah. I think we like we're less than twenty minutes to Birmingham Airport, so it's quite convenient. So you so you got flights, even whether it be Romania or back to Poland. There's some of the lads here from Poland as well. So yeah, but getting back to the the major airports in um, in Ireland is quite convenient and the flights are reasonable so yeah finish on a Friday and they could be back here for either Sunday night or Monday morning whatever they've agreed at work well it's crazy actually because thinking when we come here for the HS2 trek I think we, we said earlier it's like six hours I think because we picked everyone up around Essex and East London and a bit just uh yeah, all around that way really and then ventured over it but door to door yeah. so it's bloody ages but yeah we, we Probably gonna flew it quicker. Yeah, <laughs> you'd, you'd have been back but to Bucharest quicker, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah isn't yeah, it? Probably. But, yeah, you see that. So the <laughs> guys who come in, so they book directly, do they, with the Flannery's guys, or is that kind of? Um, so yeah, yeah. So typically, if it's a uh, for a Flannery operator, it would be it would it would come. So let's say the uh, a Flannery operator's been offered the job and he's accepted it, it would then come through that contact at Flannery's, cool. and then they'd, they'd contact us and they'd come through to the hotel, so it's, it's like it's officially agreed. Yeah, yeah, superb. And then that's on that. There, is there night staff down there as well, BBB? Is it night shift as well? Don't there you is, know? I don't think we've seen too many, but there would be um, There would be night shift down there, yeah, I believe so. Yeah. Uh, I guess it depends what's happening with the project. It's one of those landscapes that's going to change, isn't it, over the Yeah, next yeah, it's forever changing. Ten years, it's going to keep you know. changing, won't it? Yep. Yeah, we noticed that, we went down to a line right down there towards the M25 kind of area. And that was at a point where you realised that there was, there was night shifts, back, it was shifts think, back to back all the way through, people down in the tunnels and that yeah. kind of stuff. Yeah. But yeah, I can imagine you guys have come up against that every now and then, won't you? Like, yeah, definitely. And there's a, there's a few other companies that use us here, um, which are HS2 related, and yeah. and they do have designated night shifts. Yeah. 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 And, yeah. Uh, and that's permanent. So we have to factor that into the hotel with cleaning, you know, not to disrupt their sleep patterns. Definitely. Yeah, yeah so it's something we need one. to consider as a business, yeah. Yeah, that's mm. for sure. Do you get any, if you get the families coming in to stay with the drivers, do they ever bring families? Um, occasionally, occasionally. Yeah, I, yeah. I think um, it's uh, maybe more in the summer, like, because there's, there's a lot of, the, there's, there's quite a few tourist attractions around here. Yeah. We're at Castle, Kenilworth and Stratford. Yeah. So I think when, um, if lads are maybe doing a, like a six or seven day period, they would maybe invite the families down and, or play. children would come and visit. Yeah. Is there family rooms as well? We have that? family rooms, yeah. Oh, you do? Yeah, yeah. Superb. Yeah, and then we would negotiate, you know, offering yeah. that out at a heavily discounted rate if, if they are going yeah. to just make it more comfortable for them for the weekend. Well, that's it, isn't it? We were speaking a, a lot, especially now we've kind of stepped away from staying away and digs a lot now doing this with construction sport, but now we look back at it, I've got obviously a wife and two kids, and so a few of us have as well, and we realise just how much of a commitment it is just to serve the construction sector, mm -hmm. when you actually realise, yeah, you're in your head, I'm actually thinking, oh, it's a single man's game in a way, but it's not because we can't, you can't go like that. It's not a single man's game because people get to 30, mid 30s and we still have to work. And, mm -hmm. then, but, yeah. and you're still but realising that, hang on a sec, these families back home do make a huge sacrifice by, obviously, yeah, not, yeah. not supporting. And I yeah. think from the mental health side of it, that's what we notice. Don't get me wrong, I think we actually noticed it working in the railway world, a lot up north, you realise that a lot of these families depend on the bloke going away. The, the yeah, wife learns to live with him out of the house. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they get to a point, <laughs> she don't want him in the house, and, and it finds out he gets a local job, and then, then their marriage goes south. And it's kind of like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's time away can help. Yeah, yeah for sure, yeah, for but sure. the heart grow fonder. My yeah, wife says yeah. it to me, she said, we operate best via email, she said to some other boys mm. last week. So that's, yeah, well, Steve's, yeah, yeah, let him go and do his thing, and then we'll... We keep your marriages together here. Yeah, yeah exactly, securing <laughs> in people's yeah, lives, yeah. isn't it? But, no, it's good, isn't it? So the, the, the bar doesn't open too long. We know that one because we've been here. You keep the bar, keep it sensible. Curfew. Yeah, to be honest, yeah. it's, um, you'd be surprised. It's quite, uh, it's quite sensible. Yeah, it's usually. I think it's the, the bar's usually um, empty by 10, 10 30 Anyway, it's, it's rarely. I had this vision late. in my head when we come in, staying mm. like that, to be full of all these drivers on them. No, the it's, it's, yeah. got, and it was so far from it. Yeah. I think another thing is that uh, when 
when lads are away from work, they're, hit, they're away to make money. Yeah, definitely. So I think they're, they're also conscious that they don't need to be in the bar spending. So yeah. we find, um, so whilst we have, like, again, discounted food and, and, and beer for the, for the guys here, um, typically there's never, there's never a late night. Yeah, we're super. usually closing it early than we than we need to. Yeah, for sure. So like you say, it's the food, the food and drinks everything subsidised for the yeah, for the absolutely, yeah. So, so we're going to figures also, but you also said there is there is benefit to them to come here. To absolutely, it's discounted because we're conscious that you know it's it's not about um, trying to squeeze everyone for money. It's about creating the, the correct environment. It's yeah. a long term play rather than you know people are interested in for uh, you know for weekend or for, for a few nights. It's weeks or months or even we got one lad who's been here eighteen months. You know, really? yeah, he yeah. lives in Ireland and he's back yeah. and forth all the time, yeah. Yeah. What's the kind of, so we see obviously the Irish is quite, because your family, the only area. My parents would be, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I obviously found the construction sectors took you over here. But we, we yeah. know, it's, I, I obviously know it a lot, but it's quite, especially I think the groundwork, civil engineering world, it, it seems to be the, the groundwork side of it more than other industries. Yeah. It's a huge Irish kind of. Yeah, it always so probably has been to a degree. You're meant to be here, wasn't it? Yeah, so yeah. Your calling has come. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so your family, well, the mum and dad back from Ireland? Mum and dad from Cork, yeah, in Southern Ireland. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so they've been over here um, 45 years, I think. And you're part of the London Irish community. Yeah, plastic. Yeah. Plastic, yeah. plastic paddy. <laughs> I don't want to put it politely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm allowed to say that, aren't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I am somewhere. My <laughs> great nan is from Donegal. Yeah, right, okay. I, I found out recently, yeah, so we're uh, part of the... Yeah, they've done a gold bunch, apparently, descendants of. Tough bunch over there. Are they? Yeah. yeah I, don't actually, no, I need to do some more Gould, history yeah. on it now. Donny, yeah, I know, but, um, yeah, there's a few companies I know which are built on the Donegal lads and stuff. Yeah, I've met. yeah. And there's only literally found it recently. Yeah, that's Strong true. reputation. Are they? Mm. Oh, go on then. I like that. Mm. The, boy, the little boy's favourite colour is yellow, so I know yellow and green is the, the uh, Donegal's yeah, colour yeah. and stuff. But there might be something there. All but. right. <laughs> no, that's Bob. Patrick, thank you very much for your time. Yeah, we'll, um, thanks, we'll time thanks for trip. visiting us again. No, thank you. We're going to go around the camera, have a little look at the hotel and stuff with the boys and then uh, we'll show them what it's all about. But no, thank you. Literally, you're serving a huge purpose. There's nothing to go back into, but there's nothing else in the industry that does this for the drivers, is there? From what I understand, no. No, this was um, this was a unique uh, project. And, yeah. Um, yeah, and, it's, and, the, and the feedback's been good. It's been positive And I know there's definitely, um, the lads seem to appreciate what, what's been offered here for flanneries. I see it as well, especially from my perspective. We're fortunate, and we, this is what we want to do and highlight, is the good... My, going into a long story, but my thing is that the mental health kind of side of construction is really bad because we don't show the good stuff off enough. Sure. I think there is enough good stuff out there to make this entry a lot better, but we're British and we like showing negative news, and that's just the yeah, way it goes. Yeah, that's our but thing, <laughs> isn't it? But no, I, I, and look, good I, stuff you know, I don't know. It's, it's, uh, my background isn't necessarily construction, but I think you can just see how... You can see the evolution and how everything's improving and the awareness yeah. of it is, is always... Yeah, and with these kind of post-COVID world, this would easily work in London, I'm sure. Why not Manchester? Why not all these big major cities? Yeah. We also, I live out in Essex, East London direction, but we've got projects all over the shop there mm -hmm. now and they would fill up a hotel, I'm sure, especially yeah. the guys. And I know these lads, lads who live in vans day in, day out because yeah. it's the way they earn their money and, they yeah. that and you think there's a better way to your life than mm -hmm. that, but mm -hmm. this would be perfect so the industry can take note. Yeah, uh, absolutely, yeah. Patrick? Top man. Thanks so much. Cheers, pal. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. That's Patrick O'Leary at the Flannery Warwickshire Park Hotel. Um, yeah, thank you. Enjoy. <laughs>